What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sky Factory 3. We are here today. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. It's been probably about four days since I recorded the last episode. And I have been quite busy cleaning stuff up around here, setting a few things up. So, I guess we need to get into what all I have been doing. First thing, if you look here, we now have a new accessory. We have a backpack. Now normally I have the golden bag of holding. Um, the only difference is this backpack does not take up any kind of inventory space. You can put it on your back, or you can take it off our back and put it in our inventory. And we can also access it while it's on our back. So it gives us some extra storage space without taking up any kind of room. So that's one thing. The other thing is, as you can see, we've built our platform out just a little bit. I have made some elevators here to get up and down because I was tired of doing the ladders and I've hit the wrong buttons. So first thing, um, our mob farm here. I left the other day and decided to leave it running. So I haven't set this up on a local server yet. And I come back, all these things, all these storage drawers were full. The chest that I've got back here was full of stuff. I had thousands of entities just laying up there on the spikes. I was like, we got to figure something out here. So, I have changed the conduit. We're using item conduit now instead of the... Uh, extra utility stuff and I've changed this back to where it is doing regular mobs now instead of having the witch water but then I've got these things set up it checks the inventory and the drawer control controller first and then if it doesn't find anything there it puts it into this chest now any item here that we can use in a recycler will now go into here and then it goes over here to our compacting drawers and gets changed over into our legendary loot bags so I still have to come over here every once in a while to take you know the chain boots and stuff like that out um, but that's it we keep getting some of these random bags also let's see what's in these that is a spawn chicken egg and that is stone and glass all right so but now i have got this loot bag opener basically this will suck out it's got a the translocator here set to pull out just legendary loot bags it'll pull the legendary loot bags out it'll open them and this is what we've got out of the stuff so far now i've taken a few pieces of the manuel and out we've upgraded our sword and i've been taking the diamond armor out and crushing it into diamonds but for the most part this is what we've been getting out of them so that's pretty much all down here now up here I keep finding random skulls laying around I don't know why uh, I have made uh, this here I don't know why that's not sucking out um, because I used, needed some of the experience for our uh, sieves over there because you can enchant the uh, mesh. So as you can see, we now have Cursed Earth. I went ahead and changed this entire thing out. All the different levels have Cursed Earth in them now. This thing is running non-stop. And it's running fast. We've got way more stuff down here than we're ever going to need. Uh, most of these are actually fairly f full, if not all the way full of stuff. And the ones that aren't is because I have either added, you know, upgrades to them, or I have uh, taken, you know, like the Inferium stuff out of them. Um, which the Emerald, the Emerald upgrades are something that you do get out of the legendary loot crates. And then if I get one out of them, I come over here and throw it on one of them just to give it some more storage space. So, our next item of business. I have done some cleaning up. 
Uh, first off, we now have, this isn't completely automatic because I have to actually create the sand. Um, but this is sucking water in, transforming it into uh, the witch water. As soon as it changes over to the witch water, the sand comes out of here, changes into soul sand, and then comes over in here. So it's sort of automatic. Um, but I eventually want to get it to where it is making its own sand and being done with. Um, I have cleaned up some of our chests that were around. We've got storage drawers and all this. I've got the compacting drawers on for all the different, uh, oops, all the different nuggets. Uh, I've got this chest here and I don't know why this is the advanced item collector that we have on the other one and it's supposed to automatically take any of the items that come from here and suck them into it but for some reason they still come into my inventory but as you can see though why is that getting sand in here I know why it's got sand and gravel in there is where I made all this sand at it's sucking it up let us get rid of that. Uh, I have upgraded our furnace. It is pretty fast now. Uh, let's get something we can smelt. And there you go. Uh, now it is the next to the highest tier. Uh, the next one is the extreme furnace, but you need a nether star for it, and we have not got quite to that point yet. Um, I have finally upgraded our grid power. We now have 56 instead of the 11 that we had before. Um, I've added these in here. Um, I have moved the smeltery was over here and I have moved it over here and made it just a little bit bigger. Uh, and then we have our full automatic setup now. Um, we got this one turning cobblestone into gravel this one is sieving gravel and we've got the fortune 3 on it um, and then this one's taking gravel out of here too and turn it into sand sands going in here and being uh, sifted and I got the fortune 3 on that one and this is taking it and turning it in taking the sand and turn it into dust and I have it sifting here too and it's got the fortune 3 so I've got all three different things being sifted in all one little setup. And then these are just hooked up here because of power cables. Um, and that is the other thing. I have finally upgraded to a bigger generator, at least for over here. That is something we are actually going to work on today. Our power over there for our farmer is still not doing what we need it to do. Uh, so that is what we are going to look at. But as far as supplies go... Iron is the only thing I am not getting out of here because I have the diamond mesh and everything. Um, so I'm still having to sift the gravel and stuff myself to get iron. Uh, but it's not really become that much of an issue because I still have quite a bit of stuff here. Um, but we are getting all the gold and stuff now. Um, so basically with it this way, it, you know, it puts it in in the chunks. These drawers automatically com compact it into the pieces or into the chunks. And I can just take those out and smelt them. Now we've gotten quite a bit of redstone. We've got a bunch of glowstone. We've got diamonds for days now. And we've got a bunch of emeralds. And we are slowly collecting some eulorium, which is great because I want to build a big reactor soon. Um, anything else over here? Oh, the shards, we've got quite a few of those. We've got seven stacks of them. And I think, no, oh, we got one, one more thing to show you. This over here has all stayed the same, other than I have spent, I spent an hour and a half crafting Wither Skeleton Essence. We got the uh, skulls out of the uh, legendary loot bags over there. And so I turned them into seeds. We have one, uh, one seed. Let's see if I can catch it while it's in here. Nope. 
But as you can see, though, our power is still not enough. I've switched to using Rotten Flesh just because it was a way I could put it over here and sit and forget it. But it's still not keeping up with it. Um, so like I said, that's what we're going to see about today. The other thing I have done is I am still trying to get a ghast in my cursed lasso. And it has not been fun. So here we are in our nether. There is... Why is there nothing spawning? I don't know. Why is it on? I don't know. It got switched. Um, but of course we've got the fortress there. I still have not gone over there. And then we've got this set up. I set up just a quick area here hoping that I could get something to spawn in here. And it didn't work. I think it's because it's too close to the fortress and standing around here. All the stuff was spawning over there. So we have gone way out here. And built a even bigger platform. And this is pretty much all I get is a bunch of zombies. Um, I've gotten two gas to spawn. The one gas that did spawn, it, as soon as it spawned in, it took off. And I didn't even come close to being able to catch it. So... Probably what I'm going to have to do is wind up building a jetpack for now and just being done with it. Um, so, but we're going to head back home and we are going to get stuff ready for... I've been sitting here just picking stuff off. I want to go over there so bad, but I still haven't got armor and everything set up to do that yet. Alright, so... Our power stuff. All right, in this mod pack, of course, you know we could just run cables underneath here and go all the way over there, but I really don't want to do that. I want to check out. There is a mod. I hit the wrong button. Come on, you can do this. Uh, that is not. That's not it. Um. Aha, Flux Networks is what it's called. This is a wireless form of of transfer, or, or uh, RF transfer. We can make these flux plugs, and this you attach this to the generator, and then attach this to whatever you want your power to go to, and it'll transfer it wirelessly. So I want to see if we can hook this generator up to this farmer and it still have enough power to power everything that we've got right now. So that is what we're going to work on. And I've got a, one of these made. Um, but basically the whole, we need to make a bunch of these, which is it's a bunch of flux, which is smelting redstones. So we're going to smelt the stack of this right quick. And when I say right quick, I do mean right quick. And while that's going, actually, while that's going, let's go get us some ender pearls. We got to make some eyes of ender. Let's grab two stacks. Eh, let's grab three stacks. We have got tons of ender pearls. I just now realized that we're up to 37 stacks plus the three I got on us. All right, and we are going to need eyes of Ender. So let us get let's get a couple stacks of these, and we need oh we don't need two stacks of those. All right, so we've got this stuff now. Let us make at least for now. We're going to need. Four here and four there. And this recipe makes four. Well, let's make three of them. And I just realized if we can get our 
jetpack. We should, we could actually take and do an ender dragon fight. We're not going to do that today. Um, but we're actually not too far away from being able to do that. Alright, so what do we need here? A flux block. And it looks like it's a good thing I made some extra ones. Alright, so this, there's that, and we need a block of redstone, and there we go. Alright, so let us take this, put it on our generator, and let's click on it. All right, we want to create a new network. We'll just leave it all like that and we will hit create. Uh, it's going to send 250, okay. We don't have anything connected. All right, so that should be ready to send power let us go over here let us kill this let us kill this and let's put our torch up top here I've been have I don't know what the issue is I swear I have everything lit up that could possibly be lit up and I still have zombies that spawn everywhere select the network we want to select that alright oh crap that's filled with power now let's go see what our power is doing over here oh it's raining Uh, it's just barely touching the power. Oh, that's awesome. That means we can probably set up a couple more of these and be good to go. Yeah, this thing is staying full. It means I can clean all this stuff up. Oh, this thing's running full blast. Now, we have got 200 stacks of essence and we have got 27 stacks of the redstone and two stacks of wither so that's almost um, I don't forget how many skulls it takes to do it but or it takes nine to do a skull but the skull is actually not what all that I want with this now if we look in here let's go to our uses we can actually use this stuff to make a wither proof block so my plan is to set up a wither farm and more or less not ever have to worry about touching the first wither. We're going to see if we can't do that. It's kind of a, a uh, challenge I've put before myself. I want to see just exactly if we can kill all the withers in here with not ever actually having to kill one ourselves. So that is something that I'm going to work on setting up uh, probably here soon now that we've got excess power though one of the things I'm going to be working on this week is I want to expand our farms I need to get um, oh, we got a bag and we got some purple slime saplings uh, I need to get um, basically just an inferior crop uh, field going I need to get, you know, like a wheat crop going and then, you know, a crop for, or, you know, one for all the different seeds we decide to grow, which I think that is one of the things we're going to spend our time doing now. So, oh, no, nope, that's not the book that I need. I need our achievement book. Voila. All right, so we are back here we've got all that capture the cow in the jar I figured out how to do that and we might 
Oh, that's something I have. I forgot me pulling that stuff. Um, I got enough mana uh, ingots out of the uh, loot bags down there to create a magnet. So that is one of the things that I have done. Uh, let's see here. I want to breed sheeps. Or not sheeps, but the cows. Because we are going to see if we can't get this cow in a jar stuff. All right. Actually, one of the things I wanted to do right quick while we had this up, we want to, I want to finish our farming age. So we're going to do the capture of cow in a jar and to craft the mattock. And we need, there's a couple of these that we need to mark off. Uh, the energy conduits to power several machines. We've got that done. Um, we need to th automate the loop bag opening or creation opening and compression. We have that done now. Automatic storage of ore and pieces from chunks or ch pieces chunks from an automatic sieve. We have that done. And. I don't know I think we're gonna save this one until we set it up to where it's actually doing the stuff automatic or not um, we have it automatically doing it not having to do it by hand um, and I think that that is I think that's it we are getting pretty close to having a tinkers weapon that does 20 or more damage our sword now does 13.4 um, so let us clean out our inventory and what was it I wanted to work on oh, we wanted to do the matic and I think we're just going to do a stone one because it's not something that I'm going to be using a whole lot So let us go over here and see what all it is we actually need to really I mean really why do I have two sword blade patterns we can get rid of that I have got my trash can up here Let's put this stuff back up here and then let us go over here and go to sleep so we can get rid of this for all oh, the rain. I hate it. That's something we're going to fix too sometime here soon. There's actually ways to stop the rain and we're going to do that. Um, where was I? Oh, we're working on creating a Matic and I don't have any. I don't want to use those planks. I'm trying to get rid of everything over here that I possibly can. We've just about got all of our chest stuff taken care of where it's not in chest. So that is something. Actually, that's probably what we're going to wind up doing next episode. I have a chest that I want to build. Nothing else just because. All right, so we got our patterns. So, we need a shovel. Um, let's see here. That's a part builder. Mac, we need axe head. And that is it. There's our shovel. There's our axe head. And... We'll just make it straight like that. So this really isn't something that I'm ever going to use a whole lot. But there we go. 
Now this actually works as a hoe. And it doesn't have the option in here of uh, being able to use this as a water source too, where you hit it twice. So, and then other than that, you can use it as a axe. It's kind of a two-in-one tool is all it is. So, but that's got that item done. And now we're going to work on capturing a cow in a jar. Alright, so. Let's get us some fence post. And. Let us corner this one. Yeah, you're just going to get out of my way. Nope. No. Alright, let's get a piece of wheat. We'll get you lured over there one way or the other. got him taken care of. Alright, so we need to make I think I've got this figured out how to do it. For a cow in a jar. We need to drop an anvil on a cow. Now we need to make this jar. Which is this here, which is just glass, a plank, and a bucket. And I don't know if I've got my bucket on me. Uh, oh, I do. I have it. Alright. Going to take some of your milk. And we need... I've got planks. One, two, three, four. I don't know how many we need there. I think... It's that, that, and that. So there is that. We've got some wood. And let us get our anvil. Oh. It got sucked up. Alright. I'm not going to be able to put this in here. That's not what I want. Alright. And now I'm stuck. Oh, come on. There you go. Actually, you're in a pretty good spot right there where you're at. Oh, don't you do it. Alright, let me... Actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. I really don't. Somewhere here... Oh, I'm going to bet this thing won't work on this. Oh, it did. <laughs> All right. And right there. Let us put our anvil. I hope Pete is not watching this. We don't want any complaints. And there we go. We have a cow in a jar.
not let anything else out now this thing will keep milk stored not that we're gonna need milk for anything but it is actually part of the cooking with blockheads multi-block structure that we can actually put this with it and anything that's got a recipe that calls for milk we can get milk out of it but for now we'll keep him warm by the fire so that takes care of our last one of the farming age and I think that is going to be all we are going to work on doing today like I said uh, most more or less I just wanted to bring in here and show you all the updates of what we've done here um, of getting you know I've done some cleaning up uh, and some straightening up got a little bit more of some automation going we have better sources of power um, my main thing is how much do we have oh we've we've still got plenty of plenty of lava going we may wind up moving this stuff all downstairs and to get it out of the way and then just running you know the flux network all around here without having all the unsightly stuff so that's probably something we may look at doing but for now I'm going to take my googly eyes and I'm going to a birthday party so hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys next time goodbye